Okay, this looks like a normal room, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Artisan Barrett? It does. Got your closet, your light fixtures. But wait a minute, there's no floor. <laughs> yeah, we had to tear all these joists out because they were dry rotted very badly. The old duck work's gonna have to be replaced too. So, let's see if I can zoom in and give you an idea of what the joists were like. They were basically ready to fall in. So that's a, that uh, back in that corner is a good representation of how dry rotted they were. And the dry rotted in this hall too. We're eventually going to have to take these out. So that's pretty bad there. We don't have any light in this room. And this floor is going to have to come out too. This is that tap and go flooring that we installed in here over this old vinyl. And uh, we did it as just sort of a temporary measure for the owner. Now we're gonna have to tear this whole floor out too. Go over there and stand in the middle there and show how bouncy it is. Come back, now come back right about here. This was the worst spot. Now let me get back a little bit. See if I can just, you're not heavy enough. No, I'm not. See if you can bounce up. Like Jump up a little bit. Trust me, it's bouncy. The guys haven't showed up yet to start doing more demolition, but I wanted to get kind of a, a view. I'll give you an idea of what this room, this is the adjacent room. And this is what it used to look like. Very deceiving. You think, oh, this is just a standard room. Nice looking drywall, you know, carpet. I hate carpet, but at least it's clean. It's new. But uh, the room next door looked just like that. <laughs> and it was very deceiving because the joists were all rotted out. You could walk across it and feel like you were gonna fall in at any moment. So I'll give you a shot of this when we got the joist in. What we're going to do is go back with uh, treated 2 by 10s and joist hangers to make it extra secure. These are joist hanger nails. So here's our joist, our 2 by 10s treated. They had uh, 2 by 8s on 16 inch centers, which was the span was a little over 12 feet. We, we used two by tens uh, for that span, so that was part of the problem. And there's all the stuff. <laughs> you know, when you look at this house, it doesn't look extra, you know, extra bad. It's just your typical brick rancher, your 70s brick rancher. But the problem is the moisture was, the water was coming off that hill in the back and uh, running under the floor. There was not a very good drain system, not very good, not a very good uh, system for ventilation on the foundation either. So all the wood under there just soaked all that moisture up over the years and dry rotted. But it has a pretty view.